Um, I was talking about how great uh, Secretary Pete was yes. on uh, Meet the Press, but here he, I, I don't even, I don't even care anymore. Which right wingers said, you know, paternity leave is for pussies. Well, it's Tucker Carlson. Whatever. It's made up. I don't. Is it more misogynistic, homophobic? I don't know. The whole like, oh, I guess he was trying to figure out breastfeeding. It's like, oh, haha. I get it. Yeah. Is yeah. it a gay joke or a, you know, just a general pussy joke? I. Okay. It's a bad joke because Tucker Carlson. You know what paternity it. leave is for? For good dads. That's what paternity leave is for. Yeah. Here's uh, Secretary Pete. As you might imagine, we're bottle feeding and uh, doing it at all hours of the day and night. Uh, and I'm I'm not going to apologize to Tucker Carlson or anyone else for taking care of my premature newborn infant twins. Thank you. The work that we are doing is joyful, fulfilling wonderful work it's important work and it's work that every american ought to be able to do when they welcome a new child into their family yep thank you and he made a great point yesterday he said it's not vacation yeah where you're not taking vacation anyone who's had a newborn right. knows that it's not a vacation right yes <laughs> just my ex is yes oh right my ex's uh, baby had an ear infection <laughs> just that is like the most miserable, right? You're just helpless. You can't do anything. Mm -hmm. It's just, but anyway, you know, she's not on vacation. Yeah. She's taking care of her. Oh, when, when yeah. I was up helping my mom out a couple weeks ago, yeah. people are like, oh, how was your vacation? I'm like, I was working right. the entire time and trying to take care of right. a family member. It's like, right. no, this is not, right. helping your family is not. Well, you have a sucky boss. That's different. Okay, let's, uh, well, what? You were on vacation. better agenda includes provisions for paid family leave. And by the way, uh, we're pretty much the only country left that doesn't have some kind of national policy for paid leave. I think it's down to us and Papua New Guinea. It is long past time to make it possible for every American mother and father to take care of their children when a new child arrives in the family. Yeah. Okay. So I, it is just, uh, again, endlessly frustrating, the whole uh, mansion and cinema piece of why we can't have nice things. Yeah. Um, uh, President Biden yesterday. It's clear that it's not going to be $3.5 trillion. So the question is, how much of what is important do we get into the legislation? I mean, just when you think of how huge child care a piece yeah. is of everything, yeah. of our economy, of people's lives, it's just, uh, okay. Okay, sorry, I'm just going through my, um, thank you. Richard Stengel said, if you preserve the filibuster and lose our democracy by not being able to pass voting rights legislation, what exactly is the point of preserving the filibuster? Somebody, has anyone asked to mention some of that? No, yeah. I guess no. It's just, all right. Um, and George Takei. Finally, uh, Trump is like the virus. Most of us are exhausted but ready to move on, but a third of folks still refuse to listen to common sense or decency, and they threaten to bring down the whole country. Um, thank you. It's, where is it, by the way? Oh, these are just, I don't know. Uh -oh. Just sort of stunning, uh -oh. I, and I guess we shouldn't be stunned. Yeah. Nearly a quarter of Republicans believe Trump will be reinstated to the presidency this year. Even as the uh, fantastical August 13th deadline for the event has long passed and the end of the year is just weeks away. Um, he, Trump, of course, was telling confidants he believed he would be reinstated to the presidency in August. I, it's like I, I, some segment of people has gone just as crazy as he is. It's they fantasy just, land. Right? It is fantasy land. The, po the poll comes as Trump grows increasingly desperate in fomenting this belief. He dropped a statement this week demanding either a new election or that he be declared winner of the previous one. Okay, I, I demand that Jennifer Garner realize that it, she needs to be reinstated as my wife. I... <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you just be like, okay, Grandpa, yes, you will be a czar of Russia by lunchtime, sure. If Jen Jennifer Garner, Garner can't be reinstated as your wife because well, she's never stated Well, that's what I'm talking about. It's wife. just as crazy as the he says every day. She's contesting the results of what you just said. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would like an audit of what you just said. Jen Kirkman wrote a fantasy for her in Stephanie's mind. Yes, that is real. In it happened. Fantasy, we it were happened. married, and I would like it to be reinstated. 
Oh, my God. She's How about this is good show. news, though? There is an alarming possibility that nearly uh, 10% of Georgia Republican voters will sit out the 22 hey. uh, election unless the 2020 general election is audited. audited. Yes. Let it this do This is what I said. Listen to your dear leader. You are correct. In fact, that is a low number. Let's go, people. Let's get some spine. They, yeah. They obviously are not loyal to the cause. No, you are a traitor. You know, they send out fundraising letters now yeah. saying you're oh. a traitor. You've given up on Donald Trump. Give us money now. It's <laughs> compelling. That would be compelling for me. How much do you okay. want to say the Republican turnout at the election drops 10%? They'll say there was a flaw in the voting system oh, sure. and it needs yes. to be overturned by the state legislature. No, no, need to be audited because something, something. Okay. Uh, wow, wow, wow. A number of things may be pushing Donald Trump over the edge this morning. He has to do it, sit for a deposition oh, under, yeah. under oath. That'll be and awkward. And also, Michelle Obama has been named the most admired woman in the U.S. for three consecutive years, according to uh, Gallup. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, Christopher Steele says, yes, the PPT probably does exist. Which is just to review. It's a... It, I totally believe this, that Trump had prostitutes pee on the bed that yeah. Michelle and Barack Obama slept in. It seems That's why, right, because he has an insane, deranged, racist hatred of the Obamas. Yeah. Um, yes, Christopher Steele, it's in this, right? The, the, they're you know, they're this, doing a new thing on uh, ABC. Right, George Stephanopoulos is doing a thing called uh, Out of the Shadows, the man behind the Steele dossier. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, he said, uh, blah, 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 blah. He said, um, George said, do you believe this tape exists? He said, I think it probably does. I would not put 100% uh, certainty on it. Um, how do you, and he said, how do you explain if the tape does indeed exist? It has not been released. He said it doesn't, hasn't needed to be released because I think the Russians felt they got pretty good value out of Donald Trump when he was president. First of all, they wanted this chaos to continue and yeah. have to run again. They're not going to release the PPT.